I'm just going to jump right into it by talking about the theme for this year's TEDx Youth at the School. So this year's theme is Dream Big and Then Do It. So my dream is to actually integrate technology or computer programming into this already technology adept, technologically adept school. For example, we have a one-to-one -one laptop to student ratio at the school, and we have smart boards in every single classroom. So I feel that my fellow classmates and all the students here are very adept at using technology, but would benefit from understanding how this technology works at its core and what is done behind the scenes. So then do it at school. This was a crazy phenomenon at the time. So to do this, I had to get the after school program director and I said to him, hey, can I start a free club after school where we can talk about this stuff? And he was like, yeah, sure. So this club was kicked off last year, at the end of last year, and it continues to meet every single Wednesday this year or Monday last year to this current day. We actually just had a meeting last Wednesday. So there's usually small enough numbers that I'm able to help specific people on what they want to get help with and just talk about whatever they want to talk about related to computer science. So let me show you one example of this in action a few weeks ago. So there were three different groups of students, right? One of them was at a really advanced level and they were ready to move on to something more challenging. And they actually came into the program and they said, hey, can you get this to work because I'm having an issue with it? And we were able to work on that during the class. And one of which was at the level of which I expected them to be at. And this was great because we were able to talk about, you know, Java. And Java's really cool language, and I'm going to talk about the benefits of that later. And then another one just wanted to come in and play Minecraft, which is a sandbox adventure game. So the bottom line is that I was able to help everybody, and everybody was, gonna, was able to get instruction. And we all had a whole lot of fun, even if that meant playing a little bit of Minecraft. So what do I do in this club? What's, what's my role? Well, I teach the club. I help the students learn these different concepts. So I create syllabi. I create class plans for each of the classes. And I create periodic fun, fun projects. Like, I remember last year, we had a project which printed out a joke and asked the user for the punchline. And if the user did not get it, the computer would say, wow, error 404, I have more humor than you. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> we thought that was very funny at the time. <laughs> so basically, I'm able to teach my classmates Java, and I allow them to have fun at the same time. And I feel like this is really essential to learning, to allow the students to have fun while learning the material. So we were creating modifications for Minecraft last year. We do a lot of stuff with Minecraft in this class. And essentially what we were doing is we were making trees give you diamonds when you chop it down so like diamonds popped up. That was actually kind of cool. We actually crashed the computer with the amount of diamonds that we had. Um, so then we made pigs drop bacon when you killed it. And we thought that this was pretty funny. And then we also enabled the character to jump to the clouds. So you could be like, haha, I'm jumping over mountains. This is so fun. Kill a pig. You know, get bacon. Anyway, so why, why computer science? Why do I want to teach these kids computer science? Well, for three reasons. The first one is that it's logical. So it forces you to think in a very systematical, like mathematical, one, two, three way. So when you're writing a program, you write different lines of code first. So first you would say, I want to print out high. Okay, so then we print out high. So it's a very logical order of it. And this can also be applied to other disciplines, like when you're doing error analysis in computer science. You have to go line by line and figure out what the computer's doing. So you can also apply this to any other problem in life, and you can just diagnose what's the issue by taking it as a very logical step. Okay, so it's mathematical, because at its base, what is a computer doing? Really? It's just wires that can be turned on or off or on or off. So this is mathematical, because how do you add these binary numbers? How do you subtract them? How do you multiply them? How do you divide them? So we have a lot of fun talking about math in this club also. And it's very engaging. Well, trees dropping diamonds, we call that pretty engaging. But also, when one knows how a computer functions, one tends to try to solve the problem. Not say, why didn't it work? I just didn't have to say, right, and yes, we hold on that at one point. Um, but essentially, when you know how the computer works, you can approach the problem in a logical manner and figure out what is the issue, what is the computer not, like, what's the computer not getting. And even if you changed a setting three weeks ago, and your computer still isn't acting the way that you want it to, well, that's still your fault because you changed the setting. And even if you put coffee on it, like, it's still your fault because you still put coffee on the computer. Anyway, so in quick summary, I really enjoy teaching my classmates, and I know that from the bottom of laughter that emits from their mouths, that my classmates really enjoy it as well. What I found most satisfying about this whole experience is that I've been able to teach everybody something that I'm very passionate about, and what I'm proudest about is that now there's many student-run clubs at the school, and, I, and since our club was the first, I like to think of ours as the original example for all these other clubs. I'm very grateful to all the support that I've received at this school, especially my faculty advisor, Ms. Laura Dignam, who's also the seventh grade science teacher, and of course the after school program director, 
Mr. Jermaine Saunders for allowing me to have this wonderful opportunity in the first place. Thank you so much and have a good day.